What's poppin' YouTube family? It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now today I plan to branch back off into my favorite uh, niche fragrance house thus far in my fragrance journey. Keep it locked. Well, let's get right off into it. I get to branch back off into my favorite uh, niche house, bond number nine. And today I'm here with bond number nine's Sag Harbor. Let's take this plastic sleeve off first. Here's your box presentation. 50 ml bottle. On the back you have bond number nine, the name of the house, and a barcode. Let's get this thing out of here and see what we got here. Eau de Parfum Concentration also, by the way. And there's your bottle presentation. Let's give her a spread. Set that there. It's a good scent. Now this is a very floral scent. It's fresh and green and more florals. Little ozonic. It was actually launched in 2012. Top notes of Ivy Bay leaf, bergamot, middle notes of peony, magnolia, grapes, and honeysuckle. Base notes, amber, sandalwood, and agarwood being oud. But when I smell this one right here, right off the bat, it picks up that this is a unisex fragrance. And when I say unisex, it ain't one of those ones that's tiptoeing on being unisex. It's extremely unisex with all the florals in it. But even though peony is a mid-note listed as far as the note breakdown, peony in this one for me comes in in the very beginning mixed with the florals, like a white floral that I'm picking up and lots of other floors. What I keep bringing up the fact that it's floors, this is one of those fragrances that some men may feel that is a little bit too feminine on their skin, but I do feel that a man can definitely pull this fragrance off and a woman definitely could wear it also as well. Especially since the dry down says the oud is in there, but I don't pick up on sandalwood or oud right now, this early in the fragrance being on my skin. Those floors kind of reign supreme, but with this unique note breakdown, you will be able to also be able to say that you don't smell no like just like no one else and you can dare to be different with this one right here. Now, with me saying that it's unisex, it's one I got to spend more time with. If you actually have this bond number nine in your collection, leave a comment in the comments. Let me know that you think it was too floral or too feminine for your liking or something that you was able to pull off. And what were you wearing when you wore this fragrance right here? Me, I'm looking forward to exploring this one right here, but I will say it's definitely outside the box of something that I've ever used or had in my collection thus far. But other than that, that's my time. Peace.